Welcome to StockMarketFunding.com. We're going to, once again, we traded Apple to the long side for a quick trade and got out. Apple is in a, it went from a great bull trend, 2012. This bear reversal, we've had a seven-week reversal. I will cautionary everyone that the 50-week moving average is at 560.79 on a weekly. The low of the stock today was 560.56. Like any weekly moving average, if you start to sell through them, stop market orders, here's a 20-week. The 10-week crosses over that 20, and we sell down and break this 50-week moving average, then Apple can even continue to go lower, just like it did up here when it broke weekly moving averages. They sell down. That's a weekly level. On a weekly level, on a percent DS level, we are oversold at the 50 week. Yes, we are. Short term. All macro short term. We're at the 50 week. We're at 20.5% DS. And this weekly MACD is still positive 12.9. This goes into a weekly sell signal. If we break that weekly moving average, we would sell down more, but we will find the bottom in Apple Computer. Here on Apple Computer, on a monthly chart, I'm below the 10-month moving average. I'm at a major, major support level on a monthly chart where this trend line is. That's your lower support level, and that's going to be roughly, let's say, 545, about 553, I'm sorry. So... On a monthly level, we're working the overbought levels off in the name. It's been a lot of pain for the bull, but for the bear, it's been wonderful. Because when it falls, you make money just like when it goes up. So, all alert on Apple Computer. And let us not forget that the NASDAQ 100 is down 64 handles and the Dow is right now down 314 Nasdaq composite down 71 S&P down 33 at 1394 the time 824 markets have almost been open two hours fiscal cliff is the problem however great bull rallies are always set up for short term they're bear trends so bears make a lot of money when they hit that support level we're going to get that oversold once again we have a, a listen when that 10 month was rising right here, the blue line is a 10 month. You can see how the bull works here. You're below it. That's not above it. That's why it's not a bull trend. It's a bear trend, but bear trends make lots of money. You just have to know how to trade them off the bottom and sell them at the top. Uh, short at resistance. Major, major problem on the monthly chart. Major, major problem here. When you take a look right now, you can see that this blue pink line, the 50, that's a 50 week and if it cuts it, it's going to come down here and it could come all the way right back down here where this particular rally started at this up, up bar to make that high. That's, that's the lower support level. Once again, 10 month level is right here. 10 month chart, weekly chart. This way you can establish the differences between the time frames, the difference between bears and bulls. Uh, 10 week moving average is about to cross over the 20. If it does, and if Apple went into a weekly sell signal, you go lower. However, at some point down in here, we will make a low. And if we do get any resolution in the fiscal cliff with new elect President Obama, we will be able to make bottoms at some point. The selling is increasing. The Dow is down 326, 1392 on the S&P, 75 handles down in the NASDAQ composite. Big selling day. As all these sellers are washed out over this election, we're going to look and see where the buying opportunities come into play. In the very shorter macro turn, we have a complete bear reversal on Apple Computer. That could conclude the weekly here. Conclude the monthly below the 10-month moving average. The daily, well... You're extremely going to hit a point of support levels that would come back down in here if we break them. The Apple computer, here is the Apple computer. We've had 688 lows again with the $15.28 range. 
And what I will tell my MMTs across the board, we finally made lower lows in Google. That will be the next chart to look at. And why does it have to go down to the 660 area as anticipated? They're selling across the board. They're not happy with the election. People are selling and then ask questions later. We already said this would happen if Mr. Obama won. We told you. But if Romney would have won, you'd be up 300 points in the Dow. Because in his campaign, he was going to do the opposite of what Obama's doing. Now, Obama could come back and get on both sides of the aisle and turn this whole thing around as a new president-elect should and lead this country into prosperity.